Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Thought I would show you a couple things on the ZR1 today. I haven't really talked about this thing a whole lot. Uh, I posted a video a long time ago of some of the stuff I've done to it, but here we are in August. I'd started disassembling this and doing these modifications in December uh, of 2016, so it's been a long time since I've driven this car and I'm really anxious to drive it. So uh, today I thought I'd talk about some of the modifications to the cooling side I did. So um, first off, I did uh, a set of welded bricks. Uh, so on, under the, the hat of the supercharger, there's a set of intercooler bricks and I welded, or I had a plate welded on by D3 Performance. And that's what this looks like. And then I did a set of billet inlets from D3 Performance or Pro Speed. They uh, changed the name of their company. Uh, new silicone lines. So all new silicone lines all throughout. I didn't like the rubber. It just it seemed to collapse when you try to put any kind of bend in it. I put the factory fill back in. Uh, another neat thing that I like is these are heat shrink uh, clamps. So instead of having like your old school worm clamps box open. So instead of having these, which you guys have all seen those, this is what I did. So you collapse this, run it over the hose, and then heat shrink it down. So it makes it a lot cleaner look, uh, especially since you're going to be seeing that through the hood. Uh, and then that all goes into an Elderbrock heat exchanger. And I'll list the part number on the Elderbrock heat exchanger. It fits really nice. I put it back behind the stock shroud, so um, mounts really nice. And then I got a expansion tank. Uh, this mounts right here behind the front bumper, uh, kind of away from the heat of the motor. It, this is from Kong Performance. So Greg at Kong, Kong Performance, if you haven't heard of this guy, he, uh, he has like the world's fastest half mile and a ZR1. Super nice guy, he's been a ton of help. Um, this is the uh, basically the drain back. So. Um, when you're filling the system that gets all the air out this comes into the top side of the tank but anyway this guy uh, he's he's helped me out a lot so I just want to give you guys an update of kinda of where I was at this car is getting really close um, I've got a few other things to tie up I gotta get a throttle extension for the throttle body I gotta get some plug wires and then put oil in it and drop a baseline tune in just to get it running make sure there's no leaks and then we're gonna start to tune it so um, I'm going to show you guys kind of videos of when we get it first running. Of course, I'm going to show the first startup. And then if this cooling doesn't work, which I think it will for what I use it for, I don't, I don't do a ton with this car. It's just a toy. So we just kind of put around town in it every once in a while. The, uh, I might end up putting a tank in the back uh, and getting rid of the, the tank up front. I don't know yet. It uh, just depends. I'll, I'll kind of monitor the IATs and see how hot it gets. But uh, Putting the tank in the back isn't something I really wanted to do right now because I didn't want to drill holes in the car. I mean, I know I've modified it, but I just didn't want to go that deep into drilling holes into the car and putting a tank in the back. So, anyway, watch for future updates on this car. And then, of course, I got all kinds of other projects going on at one time. So, uh, thanks for watching.